All right, Gemini, we're going to get into your dark trivial secret. Um, this could be you for someone around you. This could be how you feel that someone is acting towards you or how you feel in general. It could be your basic mindset of what's going on. Um, basically, anything. Uh, it could be the cross watcher that is doing this. Um, and basically doing this figures like it's something that can it triggers change whenever knowing that somebody else knows what's going on. Like okay. What is it supposed to do anyway? You can know about it and still keep doing it. But right now you're pissed off because you're not getting any this is, yeah, somebody doesn't want to stay, but they don't want to go, but they don't want sex either. So, what are you going to do? Okay. Well, let's start with the bottom. There's communication here. Um, It could be not so passionate communication, possibly with a past person. Either that or you're thinking about giving passion to a past person. You're not really for sure on what to say. You want to work on things. I could have swore that was two cards. Um, but this is like happy wife, happy life normally, but you're not fucking happy at all. You're focused on work. Um, you could have water in your chart, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is um, you taking your emotions out of everything, not really using your intuition. You're depressed. Um, and then we have judgment. This is a reconciliation. This is feeling as if you want to work on something, but you're kind of torn because you're so depressed. Why fucking work on it, right? And then we have the Seven of Swords reversed, like some sort of manipulation came out whenever you guys either went to reconcile or you're having an awakening to the mind games that were going on. Um, and this is a loss of a wish. Um, maybe mind games came out about you or your person. Um... Someone from your past, there could have been a, like a soulmate at work that you were dealing with. But there's this is just a delay in your happiness, don't worry about it. Like, okay, I'm no longer holding back, going in calmer waters, cutting through the bullshit. Um, there is a manipulative fire sign in your life, or you are this fire energy. What's hidden um, is victory. Somebody is cutting through the bullshit. Some masculine fire sign, male or female. Um, there's victory in a love connection. Possibly involving a child's mother, queen of pentacles, or somebody you consider an empress. But they aren't in their best state of mind. Let's see. Alright. We're gonna get... So you might be talking about the past memories with someone. Um, this might be a confrontation, actually. Um, it feels as if... There's... Like, you're starting to get frustrated. There's sexual frustration here. Maybe you're looking over pictures. You might be dreaming of this person. They might be dreaming of you. They might be thinking of you. The good times, the bad. Normally, it's good times whenever um, the Six of Cups is in the upright. Um, so you're talking about the good memories of whenever you guys were working on it. But at the same time, there it this is in your mindset. Like you wish that there was that passionate new beginning because you were happy with this person. But now you're stuck in a depression and there's nothing that you can really do to reconcile this. 
some form of manipulation has come out, which I will clarify. And then a loss of a wish. Seven of Swords. Page of Wands. It could be about a younger fire sign. Um, they could have... Somebody could have heavy anxiety. Um, this anxiety and depression are popping up a lot. So I don't know if this is you or not, but... Okay, somebody was trying to manipulate the way that they looked to others. Is what I'm feeling. Because, okay, this is an awakening. Yeah, you were in a depressed state for so long. And then, hallelujah type of situation. Like, I'm free, yay. Yeah, that was a load of crap. Um... Somebody felt like they did something prematurely and now they have anxiety. And here's the King of Cups. He's a drinker. He keeps his emotions bottled up. He's not one to actually sit there and throw everything out there. But he'll wait. He'll watch. He'll use his intuition. Um, he won't say anything like the Queen of Cups is pouring out his emotion. So, the Seven of Swords in reverse is like somebody was m trying to manipulate how someone's feelings. Uh, possibly through messages. Ended up having sleepless nights over this situation. Now they can't reconcile with this person and they lost a wish. And, yeah, that's a tower. Yeah. Yeah, because they didn't know enough about themselves. I don't know if you're the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in this, where you're kind of depressed and the other is, they are full of emotion but not really saying anything. I don't really know which one you are, but I feel as if both of you are learning more about yourself. You're kind of thinking about the good times, the bad, whenever you were, whenever you first cut this off, all this kind of good shit. This is stuff that you reminisce about because you don't want it to end. You really don't. You might not say it out loud, but you don't. At one point in time, you wanted a commitment. You wanted that marriage. I don't know if this is you or the other person, but... Somebody might be going through a divorce as well. Um, they could have had a happy home or they were in the midst of a shitty home situation whenever you were talking to them and trying to work this out and all this kind of junk. And you message this person at night if you're the king of cups. Like the more masculine energy. You lost your wish, though. So. Let's see. We have chalices and the four of chalices. Yeah, there's been some sort of change where it went from feeling like you can celebrate to a missed opportunity. Let's see, I want three. Alright, we have the moon in reverse, more secret, um, the ace of pentacles, somebody has taken a financial hit, like, okay, they might have missed their wish, and now they're feeling like they can't get themselves together, they can't do a goddamn thing about it, there's the moon in reverse as well, okay, show me more about the ace of pentacles. The higher font. Somebody had two people. And they lost one. I have a feeling it was the one that they 
that actually made them happy and if you're in into a depressed state you could be dealing with the Taurus as well I have that in your chart but somebody was this could have been an open relationship and somebody wanted actual commitment and then somebody walked away because they wouldn't give it to them um, the secret that is going to come out is the lovers yeah, not making a choice. Somebody didn't make a choice on a person that they loved. A person that came out and cut them deep with some communication or stopped communicating altogether. Um, somebody really didn't make a choice and they lost. They lost their new beginning. Yeah, because we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So somebody who didn't make a decision over you, Gemini. Or there's another air sign involved. Somebody had to choose between an air sign and a water sign. And again, we have two people here. This person actually, whoever this is, that you decided to cut off or they cut you off they still think about you they still love you but they're not going to be a part of your choice um or you're feeling this way towards somebody but i feel as if you're kind of trapped in your head because of the mind game you're playing you're worried if this is you gemini that is doing this it's you're stuck in your head you're pretty depressed um you're worried about work a past job you want to go back to um this could have been like you jumped the gun on some messages and some of your behavior came out whenever it came down to it you might have stayed up for nights on end wondering if it would come out um, and whatever happened, it did. They realized that you weren't going to make a choice anytime soon to reconcile this. So they made the choice for you. We have the king and queen of swords. So this is cutting communication between both. This is like, alright, you're not going to do it, then fuck you. And then you're all like, fuck you too, I don't give a shit. <laughs> This is the romance of a lifetime. It's true love. So whoever you done fucked up with, you might want to fix that shit. Love yourself first, though. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You get one more. Sorry, I'm trying to get these through quick because I want to even do some full moon readings tonight. I don't know how I'm going to do them, but you might be traveling towards this person soon. Either that or you're planning a trip with this person, but you need to start this off by flirting. Like, even if they they turn into kind of a shitty conversation, I think you... Excuse me. Yeah, wedding. Yeah, somebody is getting a divorce. Could be you or somebody else, but they're codependent on this like could be emotionally codependent um financially it could be um really anything calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together and then make the effort again great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so you might be making a trip someone to actually tell them how you feel and tell them what the fuck is up either you were in a marriage or you are married and you didn't want to have to choose and you didn't want to have to say anything either I feel as if somebody took away that sex from you and you kind of lit, uh, lit a fire and it was like a fuck you type of situation um fuck you fuck you well, I'm not going to talk to you, you're not going to talk to me, fuck it, I don't even give a shit, and y'all just kind of went around your own separate ways, of being all butter, both y'all, um, 
but at the same time, what you thought was a new beginning with this marriage, it didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to, and you lost the person that you actually had feelings for in the process. You never know, this person might be up for an open, if you are in an open relationship right now with multiple people, you never know if this person will be down for it too. All you gotta do is ask, right? Heart to heart conversations, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other, take the trip, talk to them. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Past life relationships, give your relationship a chance, make the effort, again, separation, so you, yeah, there's definite separation here, I mean, either that or you're separating from your other person and going back towards someone that was in your past that you get, had a chance with but you missed it. Alright guys, I was trying not to make your reading so short. Get some messages. I kind of want to feel this person out and you because obviously you're leaving another connection. You might have gone towards an air sign and lost a water sign. Okay, we have, I was in love with your potential. So this person is saying that they were in love with your potential. They were in love with what you could have done for them or to them. Like, they were in love with the fact that you could have been everything. Now we have, I feel you in the music. That can go for both of y'all, like they listen to certain songs, and you're in it. And then I daydream about you, so I feel like this is both, in a way. I've watched you change. Yeah, okay, so you thought this person was a completely different person. Like, you might not have thought too highly of this person, so you went and had a commitment with someone else. And this person fell in love with you, but they were in love with your just the potential of the situation. Um, maybe you guys feel each other in the music that you listen to. You daydream about each other. I feel like you've watched this person change, and now you're stuck in your head and depressed and wanting to reconcile, but you're stuck in a shitty situation where you need to, like, gain your traction. Like, I don't know if you're about to go through a separation that's going to cause you heavy anxiety. A lot of drama might follow it, and you're not really prepared for this. You guys might actually have to sit down and talk with this person. God, don't make me beg. Yeah, you going to talk with this person, your rejection would break me. I know my worth now. This person might just reject you. I wasn't ready for you. So yeah, you weren't ready for the person whenever they were ready for you. So now all you can do is sit there and miss each other, daydream about each other, dream about each other, even Disney movies remind me of you, so the secret, <laughs> like, you sit there and like, alright, you're watching a Disney movie with a kid, or you walk into a doctor's office and you're playing cartoons, or something like that, and you automatically think of this person. They might have talked to you about Disney movies, or you see memes on freaking Facebook, or something of this sort that immediately remind you of this person. And I think this person is getting themselves together. Maybe they were the ones that were depressed for a while over you. And you went into another commitment, or they did, and it could be vice versa. Somebody was playing mind games and somebody twisted shut up and now one is stuck wishing and one is actually moving forward. Alright, my gems. I'll see you guys later.